Good morning, friends and family, and family of friends. Welcome to the Monday edition of Morning Minutes, everyone. March 29th and Easter week already. Wow. Hey, you know, we always try to bring you fun and interesting local news and stories from around the world. Well, that's because our goal is always no do and no glue, because you do get enough of that from the regular media. Bell and I hope you all had a truly awesome weekend. No complaints on our end, especially considering the real estate market is just on fire right now. We've already closed on four properties this year. We have three that are in the process of closing right now, and we have just had a new listing hit the market last Friday, a 37-acre farm in the country. Sweet country living, I tell you. Hey, as promised, today we are coming to you from the inside of the awe-inspiring and stunningly beautiful St. Peter's Basilica. This Friday, we are going to take a virtual adventure and explore the Basilica and dive a little deeper into the history and significance of this holy site, and we hope you'll be able to join us. Speaking of beautiful, this morning sunrise was at 642 and sunset will be at 718, putting us up to 12 hours and 36 minutes of glorious daylight today. Presently, well, it's already 38 degrees outside, give or take a little bit depending on exactly where you live. Today you should expect mostly sunny skies, temps in the mid-60s, and a chance to feel well, what life would be like if you lived in a wind tunnel. Because we will have winds out of the south at 20 to 30 miles per hour steady, and gusts exceeding 40 miles per hour. <laughs> well, it looks like a dry week ahead of us, with uh, temps in the upper 40s and mid-50s much of the week. The extended forecast is calling for temps in the mid to upper 60s starting Saturday, and extend it all the way on through the next week. <laughs> Spring is here. All right, our celebrity birthday shout out starts with a talented New Zealander who became famous for her role as TV's Xena, the Warrior Princess. That was a fun show, and I do remember watching it quite a bit back in the day. She also played Lucretia in the series Spartacus, Blood and Sand, its sequel and its prequel. Additionally, she played an awesome part as a human form Cylon in the fantastic remake of Battlestar Galactica, another great series. In 2015, she began playing Countess Marlboro on the WGN series Salem. Most recently, she can be seen in the pop cult classic series Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Oh, funny show for sure. Lucy Lawless turns 53 today. Our last celebrity is no longer with us, but he lives in the hearts and minds of his fans through his many works. He is probably best known for playing Herschel Green on AMC's awesome series, The Walking Dead. He was nominated for a Golden Globe for his performance in The Ninth Configuration. Over his long career, he had appeared in over 50 films. Some of his most memorable performances were in The Great Gatsby, Pearl Harbor, and Junebug. One of his last roles was on Netflix fun series called The OA. He will always be Herschel to me, but Scott Wilson was born on this date back in 1942 and moved on to the big stage at the age of 76 back in 2018. All right, let's flash forward through this week in history. On today's date, back in 1992, U.S. presidential candidate Bill Clinton states, when I was in England, I experimented with marijuana a time or two. And I didn't like it. I didn't inhale it and never tried it again. Well, in 2010, a former Oxford classmate would claim in his memoirs that Clinton didn't inhale because, well, he preferred marijuana brownies. <laughs> Go figure. On March 30th, back in 1867, the U.S. buys Alaska from the Russians at the bargain price of two cents an acre. Woohoo, that's a bargain. The purchase was supported and negotiated by U.S. Secretary of State William H. Seward and became known as Seward's Folly by critics at the time. Russia was eager to sell the territory, fearing that they would lose it anyway if they had an all-out war with the United Kingdom. Also on March 30th, but in 1891, the first U.S. National Forest, the Yellowstone National Forest in Wyoming, is established. Originally, it consisted of 1,239,040 acres. Wow. On March 31st, in 1889, the Eiffel Tower is open to the public at 984 feet, and at the time, it was the tallest man-made structure in the world. 
The framework was designed by Gustav Eiffel, hence the name. On March 31st, 1917, the U.S. takes possession of the Danish Virgin Islands after purchasing them from Denmark for $25 million in gold. Ooh, they are beautiful. Bill and I had an awesome time when we visited them a couple years ago. Here's a fun fact. They are the only place in the U.S. where traffic drives on the left. On April 1st, in 1981, CNN broadcasts a videotaped interview of psychic Tamara Rand predicting the Reagan assassination attempt, which had occurred two days earlier. The interview was by local KTNV-TV host Dick Maurice, who claimed the interview had been taped back in January, several months before the assassination attempt. In reality, it had actually been taped the day after the shooting. Maurice was suspended by CNN and from his radio and TV show, but of course they didn't fire him. They don't report the news, they just try to sell a narrative. <laughs> They're terrible outfit. Also on April 1st, but back in 1996, as part of an April Fool's Day joke, Taco Bell takes out ads in seven leading newspapers, announcing they had purchased the Liberty Bell to help reduce the country's national debt. They stated their plan was to rename it the Taco Liberty Bell. In response, well, public concerns, people called the White House. White House kind of played along. White House Press Secretary Mike McCurry stated that the federal government was also selling the Lincoln Memorial to Ford Motor Company and renaming it the Lincoln Mercury Memorial. Well, the prank was successful for Taco Bell nonetheless because the marketing campaign cost them about 300000 but generated a sales increase of a million dollars in the first two days in April alone. Wow, what an epic prank and a great story. On April 2nd, way back in 1866, the Civil War ends when U.S. President Andrew Johnson declares the war's ended. Well, except in Texas, that is. Texas was not included because it had not yet formed a new state government to replace the Confederate-based government. This would happen a year later. All right, and from our comedy corner, I went skydiving today for the first time. This guy strapped himself to me, we jumped out of the plane, and as we plummeted, he said, so how long have you been an instructor? All right, today is National Lemon Chiffon Cake Day, National Mom and Pop Business, or Mom and Pop Business Owners Day, that's a great one, National Nevada Day, National Vietnam War Veterans Day, Thank you, veterans. Belinda and I do appreciate the time that you spend with us each and every day. Our goal is to offer a mix of entertainment and education in each and every one of our Morning Minute posts. After all, knowledge is power, and you guys know it. We do love to share what we come across, and we certainly hope you are enjoying the experience. Please continue to like, follow, and share us with your friends and family. And please remember, Belinda and I are creative, high-energy real estate agents. We do have a fleet of drones to capture those awesome aerial shots of your property and your home. We have invested thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours into our VR and 3D marketing equipment. We are your 3D and virtual marketing specialist in this virus conscientious world of ours. So if you are thinking of buying or selling, reach out to us for a free consultation because there's never an obligation. And we will go the extra mile to reach your real estate goals. But anyway, thank you for your time. Hey, have a great day. Make it an awesome week. You have the power to make it happen. We're out of here.